All right, we are live here on YouTube. Today we are talking all about Instagram's latest updates. There are a ton of them going on, you guys. Like so many updates uh, since we last did one of these. They just keep giving us more stuff. So we are going to uh, go through all of that, talk about all the latest and greatest uh, and how that impacts you in business and that sort of fun stuff. So as usual, if you're used to watching these videos here on YouTube, I have to go ahead and launch uh, over on Instagram. So I'm gonna get that camera set up and get everything going. Uh, and then we'll do all of the kind of opening banter and chit chat and everything. So you're welcome to watch this part of it, uh, but you most likely will wanna skip ahead at least two to three minutes into this video. Uh, so you can kind of bypass the, the tech setup and all the boring stuff. Uh, and then we'll get into all the greetings and everything over on Instagram. And then we'll jump into the topic, which is the latest Instagram updates. So bear with me as I reposition all my things and get everything all set up for everybody. Because, of course, that's what's got to happen. But I thank you guys for tuning in and for being here and watching these videos with me. I do appreciate it. And if you have any comments or questions about any of these features, you are welcome to leave those here on this video as well. All right, let me get this where everybody can still see me on cameras and it won't be too distracting. I know it'd be nice if I could set up this camera before, but then I can't do my screenshot on YouTube. So, you know, things happen and we have to work with what we've got and what we've been given to us in terms of resources and different screen sizes and all that fun stuff. So welcome to technology. All right, we're going to go ahead and launch over here on Instagram. We are a couple minutes early, but that is okay. Hey, hey, we are on Instagram and we are simulcasting over on YouTube Live as well. So for those of you who want to come back and uh, watch a replay, if you can't watch the full replay here on Instagram, which will be available for 24 hours, then you can head over to my YouTube channel. Just search for Jen's Trends on YouTube and this video will be there uh, on YouTube as soon as we are done broadcasting tonight. So we've already got Robin in the house. We've got Maggie here as well. So good to see you. Mike Alton is here. Hey, hey. We are starting a couple minutes early. I was so eager. I just, you know, got everything going. Uh, so we're here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw up. Ask Evie is here as well. Uh, Aaron is here. Good to see you guys. We are talking today about Instagram updates as of July. Go ahead and post that. And if I can get that pinned and boom, there we go. All right, we got Anna in the house. We got Sparkle in my eye joined us as well. Mike Alton saying he can't stay for long. He's got both kids home tonight. Totally understand, all good. Uh, you know, I always appreciate you being here anyways, so I totally am understanding of that. Toronto dog walking, hey, hey, good to see you too. Uh, Watson KS, Ken actually showed up and on time. Uh, Ken, what's for dinner? Uh, and I'm assuming it's uh, either Janet, uh, I think, uh, Janet OS uh, has joined us as well. Um, and then we have some other people that are popping in that have usernames that I'm not going to try to pronounce. So we're just going to let those slide you guys. Uh, cause that is how we, sometimes we just got to roll that way, but I thank you for being here tonight. We are talking about the latest Instagram updates. Uh, there have been a lot since I did my last, uh, video, which has been a while. I realized I've been MIA for more than a hot minute, you guys. And I totally apologize for that. Uh, but let's just say life happens, travel happens, summer happens, things happen. Uh, and I haven't, uh, had a lot of time to do everything and stay on top of everything. Um, you may notice that there is a new backdrop behind me. Uh, for those of you, I didn't post about it a ton, uh, publicly on, on social media, but I actually just moved. Uh, this is my first broadcast from the new studio per se. Uh, I've done one podcast recording. No, that's not true. I've done two podcast recordings for other people uh, that I've done here in my in my new office space. But uh, this is my first live broadcast uh, from my new office. So I'm very excited about it. 
I just moved in uh, officially out of the old place and everything in here as of this past weekend. So like three days ago, uh, four days ago was when I like officially had everything in here. So this is all fresh and new. Uh, it's been, it's been a busy couple of weeks of moving a lot going on. Um, as many of you know, and probably saw on social media, I was actually traveling. So I took eight days. I was in Nashville for three days. I was in Florida for five days. Uh, that was around the time of the IGTV launch. Uh, so that made my life interesting. And then I came back and it was July 4th. And then I got ready to start moving. So I have been in a little bit of chaos in my world. Uh, and I haven't had time to jump on a live video as much as I would have wanted to. I did miss you guys. I wanted to be here. Uh, but I just couldn't make it work. Sometimes life happens. Uh, with that being said, that was the theme of an email that I sent out to my email newsletter uh, list this week. I sent it out over the weekend. Uh, so if you did not receive that email talking about social media strategy and uh, package options, then you are not on my email list. It means you got kicked off when I did my GDPR cleanup. So if you are not on my list and you want to be on my list, go to jenstrends.com. You can scroll all the way to the bottom and you can sign up for the newsletter down there. Uh, and then you won't miss any future emails. Uh, so make sure that you are signed up for that. All right. So we got a bunch of people uh, popping in and saying, hi, Denise is here. Uh, Ken is having leftovers keto tacos. Ken, I don't know. I'm with Evie on that. I saw your photo on Facebook and I'm like, I don't know how this is supposed to be healthier. I understand the rationalization, but I'm like, I'm, I'm going to let that one slide. Uh, we've got, uh, Donna McGugan is here. We got pretty woman for real is here. Um, Ken is saying yay on the new place. I know I'm so excited. I'm such a grown up. You guys, I had like a real, like it's, it's a townhouse condo. It's like a real house. Like it's not an apartment. I've lived in apartments for the last, well, the last probably 12, 13 years. Uh, so to have like a house, like a real home is, is a big grown up step. Um, I'm not really sure I want to be this grown up, but hey, I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, Toronto Dog Walking said, everything you have turning your lives into a podcast. Honestly, I don't have the time to manage the technology and everything that goes into running a podcast. So I just dump everything into YouTube uh, and then I let it live on in YouTube. So it comes up and search that way uh, and people can find the YouTube channel. They can subscribe there. They can watch the replays there, uh, but it's not available on something like an iTunes or that sort of thing uh, in terms of an actual podcast platform. So this is essentially my podcast. Uh, but I do the repurposing goes on YouTube because I'm simulcasting live on YouTube as we speak. So as soon as I hit end, it's already there. There's no upload. There's no editing. I don't have to pick up music. I don't have to worry about anything. And it makes my life a whole lot easier because mama just ain't got time for that. That's just the way my life rolls. Someday if I can hire people and have them do all the fancy stuff behind the scenes, yes, I would totally convert all this into podcast material. Uh, right now though, this is just life makes the, makes it easy when I push one button and everything happens for me. So that's how we roll. Uh, Ellen Grace Marketing joined us as well. Natural Bell Femme is here. George Domenos in the house. Uh, Wayne Pickering is here. George said he's still not getting your emails or my emails. Well, then you better make sure you're signed up. Hello. I'll make sure you're on the list, dude. I got you. Uh, Mike Alton said, and with all that chaos, you're still rocking it. Boom. Fist bump to Mike. I love you. Uh, Shannon Lapp is here as well. We've got Digital Mogul Marketing. Uh, Ginger Riley, it looks like. Uh, Marianne is here. Um, Evie said, Jen joined the condo gals. Welcome to the family. Yeah, Evie moved into a townhouse condo style uh, recently as well. So we're all moving up in the world, people. It's a good thing to have happen. Uh, James is here from Singapore saying good day. He'll listen to the replay as always. Thank you for popping in and saying hi, James. I hope you enjoy the replay. Joe Saunders. Hey girl. Love to see you here as well. Angie Connell is here. Um, peanut gallery, Allison. Mwah, good to see you too. Uh, and I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, Rallin is, um, is, is the username R A L A N uh, I S V is from Mexico. Good to see you. So everybody, thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. As always, you guys know I love you being here. So we are talking tonight about all the latest Instagram updates. There have been a ton since we did a last update because Instagram just wants to keep us on our toes. Uh, I've heard through enough back channel sources that there are more updates coming, uh, that more things are going to be changing, that I'm going to have to update more slides uh, because they like to just, you know, keep us on our toes in, in the Instagram world. So uh 
this is the update. Who knows when we'll do the next one, but probably sooner than later because they just keep making these changes. Uh, as always, I do try to keep my regular Instagram updated for you guys. So I do have a post I just shared last night um, talking about live video chat. We're gonna talk briefly about that here live tonight, but you can go check that out after the video. Uh, and that is up there with all the information you need to know about running live video chat now through the direct message feature on Instagram as well. So that was one of the big features that came out recently. The Brelly is here. Hey, hey, you guys, I love me my Brelly. The Brelly is a super awesome umbrella. Um, it is a sunshade type umbrella that you can take out. It's it's uh, UV protectant. Uh, it's fully waterproof, so you can take it out in the rain. It is beautiful. It looks like a giant cocktail parasol. You know, the things you get, like the pretty umbrellas in your cocktails. That's exactly what it looks like. But it's mine is pink and it's like clear so you can see through it. And it's Every time I take it anywhere, I get a bazillion comments on it. Everyone loves my Brelly. Um, everyone always wants it. So the Brelly is amazing. And no, I was not paid to say that. I just actually love the product. Uh, Jay Owen is here as well. Jay, it is so good to see you. At least see your your face pop up there with Oliver. So uh, good to see you. I met Jay when we were at uh, Social Media Day in Jacksonville. Uh, and that was super fun. It was great to connect with you there. Uh, Watson Kansas saying updates, updates, updates. It's all the updates. That's all we get. Uh, we got Chasing Backlight is here as well. Uh, and then we've got, uh, I'm not sure, but it's I, I, I Demetrius uh, said, listen to your social pros podcast this morning. That's how I discovered your smarts. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, I was just on Jay Bear's podcast as well. That came out this week. Super excited about that. Jay was amazing. We had a great conversation all about Instagram strategies and tactics. Uh, so that is over at Convince and Convert or Social Pros uh, podcast. You can go listen to that one as well. And so to all of you who are tuning in, having come over from Heard Me There, thank you. It is great to meet you and great to see you here in this space as well. Team Easel is here too. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys, we could sit here and ramble all night because we all know I can do that because I can talk to myself and talk to you guys until the sun goes down. But instead, we're going to talk about Instagram updates because that's why you're really here and that's what you really care about. So let's jump into all the goodness all right. So first of all, before I do actually jump into this, I do want to say I have gotten so many direct messages this week and a bunch of you are literally here tonight watching this video. Um, but I had so many DMs this week and in the last week, but especially this week, um, asking me about uh, features and there's all these updates and how people don't have them or they have multiple accounts and they have a feature on one account, but not the other account. And then the account that doesn't have that feature has one that the other one doesn't have. And like, why aren't we getting all the features on all of the accounts and how do we get them and what are we doing wrong? You guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. You're gonna have to deal with it. I have to deal with it. I'm still missing features. I'm missing like features that I desperately need to be functional in my life on Instagram that I desperately want. And I still don't have them. So we all have to be patient. Um, worst case, you can try to uninstall, reinstall Instagram. Usually if you log back in, that'll kind of trigger those updates and populate them. Some of it is just a flat out roll out glitch. It's just rolling it. Like if you have it on one of your accounts on a device, but not the other, then chances are you're just caught up in a glitch. You can try logging out and logging back in. That may trigger it. If it doesn't work, you're just going to have to wait like the rest of us. Uh, some of it has to do with geographical distribution. Some of it has to do with who knows what distribution. Some of it is just plain glitchy. We don't know why these things happen, you guys, but they do. And it's super effing annoying. I know. Um, and I, there's literally nothing I can do. If I could make it easy for you, I would do it. If I could solve it, I would seriously, like I would give you all the solutions, but there's nothing we can do but wait patiently and hope that eventually we get those features because we all want them. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really am. I wish we could do it. Um, but we're going to talk about all the features. So if any of these that you don't have, don't, don't message me afterwards and say, how do I get it? Because I honestly can't, I can't fix it for you. I'm sorry. I wish I could, but seriously, I've had so many DMs this week asking about these things. Uh, Fire Farm just joined us as well. Lindsay is here. Good to see you, hon. Uh, Web Detail is here. Jay Owen said, Insta be crazy. Insta is always crazy, you guys. And you know that. We all know that. Insta is crazy. Uh, George said, it's all going down in the D in the DMs uh, at Damien Ross. Yes, this is true. Everything goes down in the DMs. Uh, Watson K said, Instagram loves toying with us. They absolutely do. Alessandro just joined us as well. Um, all right. So, uh, oh, and Joe Saunders is saying, sounds like LinkedIn, hashtag my life. I know why these things happen and why they, they like to torture us and not just make everything widely available or tell us who gets it and who doesn't. I don't know, but we, but we deal with it. 
So, okay, so one of the things that uh, is a relatively new feature that has come out that you may not have noticed is, again, since everything goes down in the DMs, is if you actually go to your direct message uh, list of everybody that you send messages to, if they have a green dot beside them, they're online. They're telling you. And before I went live, it told me that 34 of my friends were live. And yet not all of them came into my live show. So they're ignoring me, even though they're live. They're on, they're, they're literally on Instagram right now. They're literally online. And I went live and they didn't jump on and watch the show. And I know who some of them are because I saw their names. Um, but th it is kind of like a, a, a really good stalking mechanism uh, that you can look and see. Like, for example, if you sent somebody a direct message and they're not responding to you and they're blatantly ignoring you because they're logged in, uh, then you know that. Now, that being said, they may not have come over and checked their DMs. I honestly sometimes ignore my DMs. And I've talked about this before where I don't I know I don't have the capacity to answer those direct messages because I know that they're going to be a question that requires me to take time to answer. A lot of the questions I get in the DMs are very uh, technical and people want help or support or they want strategy answers and things like that. And that's not something I can just answer on the fly. So I may pop open Instagram and scroll through while I'm waiting in line at the grocery store or doing something, but that doesn't mean I'm going to check my DMs. So it's not that I'm actually ignoring you. Like I am, I am ignoring you, but I'm doing it like for a good reason, not because I'm just like ignoring you to be a biatch. So there, but it is kind of cool like that you can see when people are online and if they're ignoring you. Um, you can turn this off on your profile. You can actually go into your profile settings and turn off that feature. If you scroll down, there is an option to uh, turn off your availability. It defaults to on. You can turn that off if you don't want people to know when you are or are not online. So uh, for some businesses, you may want to turn that off so people don't know that you're ignoring them. Uh, otherwise, you may just want to be vocal about the fact that you, you know, you're ignoring people and, and why you're ignoring them. Because <laughs> sometimes you just have to address that issue like I do. Um, so George said, I'm always online and he's here. Yes, you are here. Uh, Toronto dog walking said everyone be stalking legit. Like it's like crazy ex-girlfriend level. Like there's some crazy stalking we can do on Instagram now, you guys. Um, T Measle said, I wonder if that happens when you have it open on desktop. I don't know. That is a really good question. I would think that it would show that you're online, but because direct messages aren't handled on desktop, I don't know how that connects to be completely honest. That's something we'll have to run through testing. Um, George demands and hashtag real talk. Um, all right. So that is one of the, the newest features that's just been rolling out more recently. It kind of started to roll out a little while, by, a little while ago, but it's become a little bit more prevalent and more widespread rollout uh, just in the last week or two. Uh, okay, so I already talked a little bit about live video chat. Uh, so now in the direct messages, because again, we're sticking with that direct message theme. Um, if you go to the direct messages now, if you open up a chat that anybody you've had a direct message with, you will see a little video camera icon in the top right corner, and now you can launch a video chat. As I mentioned, I'm not going to go into great detail here because you can literally head over after uh, this video and go read my most recent post on Instagram where I actually talk about all the details. I also wrote a blog post for Social Media Examiner. So if you go over Social Media Examiner and search for uh, Instagram live chat, live video chat, that sort of thing, you will find that article there. It gives you all the details and, and like a ton of screenshots in that article and that sort of thing. But basically live video chat, it's like a Skype. It's like a Facebook messenger. It's, you know, like any other regular kind of video messaging platform. It's really seamless. It's really user friendly. It's not limiting at all. Um, aside from the number of people, you can have up to four people in the video and that is it. So you can have, you know, you and one other person, or you can have up to four, including you. So you can have three people plus you. And it's really easy to use. I tested it out with a bunch of my friends uh, for multiple screenshots for that article. And they, they were all happy to be featured um, and getting called out by all their friends being like, hey, I just saw you in social media examiner's post. Um, but it is, it's really easy, you guys. I found it really seamless. Um, I actually would probably use that over Facebook Messenger video because I find with Facebook Messenger video, I get a lot of in and out, a lot of cutting, um, a lot of, you know, kind of the freezing screen. My phone gets super hot when I use Messenger video. And I wasn't having any of those problems with Instagram live uh, video chat. So I would actually prefer 
the the live video here on Instagram over uh, Messenger, to be completely honest. But yeah, it's great. It's easy to use. And the best part about it is when you're in the video, you can actually minimize it and it drops it down to the lower corner of your screen, which then you can actually move around your screen. Um, and then you can do anything you want on your phone. Like you can leave Instagram. You can go read other direct messages if your friend's like, you never said that. And I'd be like, yes, I did. And I can go open up that message and be like, see, this is exactly what I said. And you can be reading it off or you can literally leave Instagram. You could pull up like, you know, your browser and start looking for where you want to go for dinner or where you want to meet up for coffee. You can log into, you know, Twitter or Facebook and do whatever you want. Like you can be doing things while you're live chatting and nobody else can see your screen. Only see the camera on you, but you're doing whatever you want on your screen uh, to navigate around your phone. So super, super useful. I actually really like it. Um, like I said, I think it's a better alternative than a lot of the other, uh, videos. I, again, Skype, I like me some Skype, but man, that can be unreliable too. And I, I mean, granted, I didn't test IG video chat for a long period of time. It wasn't like long calls, but a couple of them we did for at least, I probably say 10, 15 minutes and like no issues at all. So I definitely really like that. All right, so we had a bunch of uh, comments and things pop in, so let me just catch up on that. So we had P-Day Pursuit is here. Hey, hey, good to see you. Grapevine Adventures joined us as well. Hello, hello. Watson KS said, or in his case, last week's Instagram wasn't showing me any new direct messages. Yesterday, he started seeing them. I wasn't ignoring people, just Ken and his amazing Instagram bugs. That is messed up. Like, seriously, that, that would be really tough to deal with. Um, but yeah, there's nothing you can do in these situations. Uh, Pez57 joined us. Uh, Joe said, nice to see you live. Got to run. Bye, sweetie. It was great to see you as well. We'll chat soon. Um, Sonia is here as well. The Silent Film Group is here. Uh, by Candice joined us. Jay Owen said, lots of lag problems on Facebook still for sure. I agree. Um, Toronto Dog Walking said, wish we could do picture in picture so we could look at the DMs while we hear you. That would be really fun. Um, that would be really cool. But uh, I will actually, because this live video does allow me to, inv to invite one guest, um, and I will have a guest episode coming up. Oh, which reminds me, I forgot to, to record this one. Dang it. I'll have to do it next time. Um, so the problem when you do an Instagram live with a guest is you can't save the video afterwards, um, which means when you end it, it's, it's gone. Like you can't save it to your phone like you would a normal video. So I was trying, I was going to try to screencast it, uh, and see how long the screencast recording will actually record for, because obviously I have a guest here. If I'm simulcasting on YouTube live, that doesn't matter because the guest isn't on YouTube, uh, and no one else can see it. And if I can't save the video, then I lose that, uh, that epic video. And it's going to be with Mike Alton, who is a maze balls. And I cannot wait to have him on the show. It'll be in like a month. I think it's August 22nd. We're doing that one. So it's going to be amazing. You guys stay tuned for that. Krista is here. Tanya! Girl, I miss you. Mwah. Thank God you showed up. I was wondering where you were. Uh, George said, my knee is killing me. Jenna, I need to get some ice and lay down. Totally understand, dude. Go take care of that knee. Um, totally understand. Um, everyone's saying, hey. And there's a time dog walking said, oh, I always wondered about that. Um, all right. So we talked about being online now. We talked about live video chat. I realize I need to get a, a clock in my office. So as you guys know, I talked about at the top of the show uh, that I have my new office. And I don't have a clock up on the wall. So I have to like keep glancing down at my little tiny clock in my computer. Um, I used to have a big clock on the wall in my old place. So I got to put a, a clock up here so I can keep better track of time. All right. So um, they are currently testing a new feature uh, that I think is completely useless. Uh, they, so this was something, if you're in my Facebook group, you can search for Jen's trends in social media is the name of the Facebook group. Uh, we chat about all these things. So everybody in my Facebook group already knows all these things that we're talking about tonight. Um, but the, we talked about this, they're testing a new feature that would allow you to like kick followers out of your following list without actually blocking them. So you, if like someone was following you that you didn't want following you for whatever reason, you could remove them from your follower list, but not block them. Like, what the fuck? Who cares? Like, if, if it's that level where you don't want them looking at your content, why wouldn't you just block them? Like, they're, they're just going to come back and follow you anyways. I mean, I guess I could see where this is like, uh, for personal accounts, it makes sense. Business accounts, public accounts, it makes no sense. Like, this does not make any sense why anybody would use this. We talked about it in the group and every situation I was like, no, that's a block. It's not an unfollow. Like, I just don't see the purpose of this except for 
personal profiles where maybe you have it set to private. So then you can kick them out. And then in order to see your content, they'd have to re-request to follow you. And then you could just not grant it to them. So again, we talked about the whole like crazy ex stalker behaviors. This would eliminate some of that. But again, like if you're going to go that far to kick them out so they can't see your private content, why not just block them? Like they're going to know eventually that they're not seeing your content and that you're not friends or like following each other or whatever. So like, it's the same thing as blocking. Like why not just block? I just don't understand why they're wasting time on this, on this one thing. But anyways, we're going to move on. Uh, we've got Simone is here from Italy. Good to see you as well. Evie said, I didn't even start picking on you yet. Watson KS. Um, everybody's saying hi. Uh, Bia Malfalti. Bia Malfati. I can never say that. Uh, is joined us here as well. Um, Tani said, my hair has gotten low so long since I last saw you. I know. I was actually just thinking today. I'm like, I really need a haircut. Like it's gotten so long. Like usually I have it more like, like this kind of length, but it's like, it's gotten crazy long. You guys, it's crazy. Um, Dark Moon Nails joined us as well. Watson K said, hashtag pointless update. I agree. I don't understand this whole unfollow thing, but whatever. Um, and Tanya is agreeing. And Simone said, it encourages the phenomenon of ghosting. It totally encourages ghosting. It's so weird. I just don't get this update. You guys, I really don't. Um, okay. So moving on because that's a useless pointless update. So we're not going to waste any more time on it. One of the things uh, that we have noticed lately, this has been in uh, testing in the back end. We've talked about it in the group. I've had multiple people testing this. Uh, hashtags and stories. Now, just so you guys know, I have been talking about this for a long time because people like to game the system and Instagram isn't stupid. They know what you're doing, okay? So for a very long time, people would go into Instagram stories and they'd put in a text block and they'd add like, you know, five or six hashtags. They'd turn it black. They would minimize it super small and they'd hide it like in the hair, like in here where it's dark. So you wouldn't see it, but it would, then that post would show up in those hashtag searches because technically that hashtag was in the text, but you couldn't see it. So it didn't look spammy like you used all those hashtags. People have been doing this for a long time. And I was like, you guys, I'm telling you, do it if you want to, but this it's going to get to the point where Instagram is going to stop doing this. They're going to stop allowing it. And for a while, it looked like they were, if, if your text got too small, they stopped showing up in certain hashtags. Like it was like, if you minimized beyond a certain point, um, where it be basically became illegible, they suspected that's what you were doing and you wouldn't show up in those hashtags. But in general, hashtags as text were still working and multiple. As of recently, within the last couple of weeks, which we have been testing, uh, and I don't know, we haven't, we tested it and we kind of came all to the same agreement, but we haven't really tested it again since to see if it was a temporary glitch. Uh, so I can't fully like stipulate this, but I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes the norm. As of when we were testing this, only the hashtag sticker, one hashtag sticker was working for Instagram stories, which meant if you added text and put a hashtag as text, your content wasn't showing up in those hashtag searches. The only hashtag that was showing up in a search result was if you used the hashtag sticker and you could use one. That was it. Now, this goes to that point of Instagram being like, stop gaming the system. You can't go and throw 15 hashtags in a story and try to show up in all these places. They're trying to avoid the spam like behavior and this, you know, attack by marketers and not so nice spammers to flood Instagram with their content. If you're creating stories for your audience, you're creating stories for your audience. Use a good hashtag. If you're using a five post story, use a different hashtag on each one so they have the potential of showing up in all of them. But this is the direction Instagram is moving. And I told you guys like a year ago when everyone was doing this, I was like, this is not going to last. Like I'm telling you, Instagram's going to cut back on this and it looks like they are. So be wary of that. If you have a hashtag that you really want to be found for, make sure you're using that single hashtag as your hashtag sticker. If you want to try using other ones as text and, and keep doing that, then great. But you're going to want to test it and see if they're actually showing up in those searches for those hashtags because in our testing recently, it was not populating. Okay, so comments. Uh, oh, so Tanya said, looking good though and congrats on the new place. Mwah, thank you. I love you. Um, Evie said, I want video replay for questions. Still can only write reply post. Um, yes. So we're going to talk about that coming up. 
Um, ask if you said my written hashtag in my story worked two days ago. Maybe I got lucky for once. Okay, that's good to know. So like I said, this was about a week and a half maybe ago. We were in full-blown testing on this, and this is what we had found. But I hadn't personally tested it since then to see if it was a temporary glitch um, or if it's something they were just testing to see if it would have an impact and that sort of thing. So I can't say definitively, but this lends me to believe this is a shift in that direction that even if it's not true now, we will get to the point where Instagram will limit how many hashtags you can put in your stories. Um, and but Tanya said, yep, that's how it is for me. Hashtag sticker only. If you said I'll adapt and use only the sticker to be sure. So good. Okay. All right. So going to Edie's point, because that's literally the next thing on my list. Uh, one of the new features that everyone was really excited about was adding stickers, uh, question stickers to your stories. So now like we had the poll, like where you can ask, you know, and you could choose one of two answers and we had the stupid slider. I, obviously the stupid slider, you know how much I feel about that one. Yeah. I hate that stupid thing. I think it's ridiculous. I've seen a couple of people use it strategically and people use it very creatively, but in general, the slider is stupid. Let's just be real. So they came out with the question sticker and there had been hints that this was coming, but it finally rolled out. And so basically you can now ask a question and anybody can answer you. So you can ask a question and say, what do you want me to talk about in my next live video? And they can answer you and send you uh, responses. Now, here's where this one gets complicated. And it's not, it, this needs some work if, if people are going to use the, the question sticker really effectively, especially for business, because it's really annoying how this works right now. So if I ask a question and you answer it, I get it as a notification. It doesn't show up in the stories or anywhere else. It shows up in my regular notifications with everything else which means that caps out, right? Like there's a limit on how many notifications you can see. So let's just say, imagine you had a really popular account and a lot of people answered. You might not see all of those answers because they're going to get buried if you supersede that limit of notifications. And if, or if you don't get to them fast enough, like if you posted something on Instagram and then you posted a story with a question and you had all those notifications battling each other, you're not going to see all of those answers, which sucks. This is a huge flaw in this feature. Huge. You know how in the polls, like if you post a poll, when you go to your story analytics, you see the poll results in the story. So you don't lose that information. With the question, you can lose those answers. And a question like that's more than a poll. Like that's like legitimate taking time to answer something. Like that's legitimate interaction and communication with your audience. You don't want to miss those notifications. So this is something to be really wary of. But then on top of it, in order to respond, the only way to actually respond to them directly is if you hit that and you choose to respond, it opens their quest, their answer up kind of like in a new story post. So the only way to reply is via a story. So you can answer them, but now it's public to everybody. iOS can do video. You can put anything in the background of that answer that you want to put in there. You can do a video. Android can only do text. Obviously, the time will come where Android can do video. But right now, only iOS can do video in the responses. Android can only do text. But it becomes like a public response. And I'm like, well, I don't want to like respond publicly about everything. I'm like, that's a private conversation I want to have with that person. It's a direct message. Send it to the DMs. Don't send it to my notifications where I can't respond. So what I had to start doing was I would have to like literally go to that person's profile and then send them a message and say, hey, thanks for answering that question. It's great feedback. I'll be sure to do that in a future episode. And then we continued chatting via DM, but the original message wasn't there because I had to take the initiative to go over to their direct message and begin a conversation with them. And it took a lot of effort on me as the brand to respond. So it was great. I could ask a question, super easy for them to respond, but really difficult for me to follow through. So if Instagram is going to make good use of those uh, question stickers, they need some serious fixing going on. All right. A whole bunch of things were popping in while we were doing all this. So Dark Moon Nails had asked a question uh, right as we got started on that topic and, and said, Whenever I try to post a picture from my camera to my story that's already been edited, it blows it up to this huge picture that my whole image doesn't fit in the story space. How do I avoid that? So you should have the option to pinch. 
So you can actually change the size of images now in your stories. So try pinching it down and see if that happens. So sometimes what will happen is like it will, it'll blow up and it fill like, especially if it's like either a square or a landscape and it'll fill. So you it's like zoomed in super tight. Um, so we want to avoid that. You can try pinching it and resizing it um, and even make it smaller. So now you have a colored background or something with the image or crop it around to fit in the space that way. So try doing that and see if that helps for you. Um, everyone's saying the slider is dumb, uh, but question is cool. Um, and team Easel said, uh, asking if she, uh, posts on an iPhone X and she said, no, it's a galaxy. So again, um, try the pinching. Um, Tanya said, no way. Hashtag notification limit. Yeah, I know it's stupid. Um, size, uh, time. Oh, so this is talking with, uh, with dark moon, uh, saying that she uses an editing app and Tanya said dark moon size it for an Instagram story in the InShot app. So try that as well. Um, real people photos joined us as well. Instagram, uh, stop hating on Instagram. <laughs> telling us to stop hating on Instagram. Um, he goes, jokes had it better in my head. Uh, dark moon nail said, I tried it and it won't move. LOL. Darn it all. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe try either resaving it, um, either like through a different app or something. I, cause I, I use Android, I use a galaxy and I don't have any issues with the pinching. Um, so there, there's something in the way that that photo is being saved when, in the app that you're using to edit it, that's got some sort of property that when, um, it's translating it. So, I mean, what you might even want to do, depending on how you're saving it in your camera roll, um, on your phone, try saving it maybe to Google photos or to another like folder. Um, just even if you go in and like, just choose edit and like literally like bump your brightness by like a fraction, um, just enough that you can then save it, which actually now saves it as maybe a new image directly within your, your photo, um, gallery versus whatever the app it was that it was stored in. Maybe that would help. Um, you might have to take that one like additional step of editing to see if that'll help avoid that, that blow up when you, um, upload it from that app. Um, Tiny said she's on Android, gents. So maybe that's why it won't pinch, uh, me and that Android. I know, but no pinching works on Android because I know, because I do it all the time. Um, and Evie said, Android, no issues here, but sometimes I need to try a couple times. Um, and <laughs> Android is fire. Cool. Um, okay, you guys. So, uh, and it's getting hot up in here, you guys. It is crazy hot in San Diego. We're like in this, like the whole West Coast is under this heat wave, right? So today's like our last hottest day and I have my air conditioning on. Um, but the problem is I obviously didn't turn it down enough. So I'm getting like super sweaty. So if I start to glisten, it's just because, you know, I'm just trying to add some shine I need to throw up one of those face filters. Um, okay, so we got that one. Okay, so, oh, one of the new things that also popped up recently that people have started noticing, I apparently don't spend enough time on Instagram because I haven't hit this thing, um, but there is now the all caught up in feed. So I don't think this is the smartest move by Instagram, to be honest, but now when you're scrolling through your feed, if you have seen every post since the last time you logged in, you will actually see a banner pop up that says you are all caught up in the feed. This could be good in the sense of those people who freaked out about the whole chronological to algorithmic sort, the fact that they're not seeing people's content, this would alleviate that concern that they have literally seen everything. Because as a reminder on Instagram, nothing is hidden. If you scroll far enough back, you will see every piece of content from every person you follow. Facebook hides things. Instagram does not. So if you scroll back far enough, you would actually see every single piece. And Instagram tells you, hey, by the way, you're all caught up. You've seen everything since the last time you logged in, which sounds like a good idea, but it's not. Why is that not a good idea? Because now I'm going to leave Instagram. If you turn around and tell me I'm all caught up, I'm not going to keep scrolling. I'm going to be like, oh, okay, peace. I'm going to leave. If I leave, then you can't send me more ads. If I leave, then I'm not looking at more content. I'm not navigating through other people's profiles or, or doing other things. So you're encouraging me to leave the app. Now, Facebook did say that they were working on, in 2018, having more uh, positive interactions on both Facebook and Instagram and working towards time well spent on their apps. So with that in mind, we knew that it would move towards a place where you would actually, they said, spend less time on Facebook or Instagram. And this is perfectly in line with that. Um, this completely supports that. They're basically telling you, you're all caught up. There's nothing here for you to see. You can leave now, in which case you will. 
Um, again, I think from a business perspective, not necessarily the smartest thing, but it aligns with what they said they wanted to do uh, to create more meaningful uh, interactions and those sorts of things. So, okay, we'll roll with that. Um, but just so you know, uh, that if that pops up, means you've seen everything. Like I said, I have yet to encounter that because apparently I follow enough people and don't spend enough time on Instagram. I have literally never been caught up, but hey, I'll live. Um, okay, so Tanya said, not like it was in March. No, March was freezing. It's crazy hot. Although, I mean, I know you've had some hot weather too, but like, so Celsius wise, we're like pushing 40. Um, Fahrenheit wise, we're pushing like, we're like mid to upper 90s right now. So it's crazy hot. Like, and I like the heat. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to deal with it when I'm on camera and I have studio lights going and I'm like, I'm starting to get all shiny up in here. Like, oh, and the air conditioning just kicked on. So I might actually survive for a few more minutes. <laughs> um, okay. So Lori K creations has just joined us as well. Hello. Good to see you. Watson kiss. I know you, you can, you can do the virtual slap. Uh, he said getting hot, whatever you should try Houston heat and humidity. Bye Felicia. <laughs> exactly. Bye Felicia. Um, and can, it must just be brutal is what, uh, Tanya just said. Um, he said it was nineties by 8am. Oof, that is tough. Um, so yeah, we've got, oh my God. And Tanya's saying, yeah, it's, uh, 45 to 48 for us here. That's crazy. Uh, Ken, it doesn't cool down here at night at all. Evie's up in like Sacramento area. So, all right. So we're talking weather. Let's get back on track. Cause we've got a couple more, two more things I want to talk about. And then we'll wrap up uh, today's show. And we'll actually get it done in less than an hour. Look at that. I'm proud of myself. Uh, so one of the other features that came to stories, and this is one of the features that everyone's asking me about because a lot of people haven't gotten it is adding music to your stories. So now when you go into stories, uh, there's actually a music option, um, one of the stickers, and you can actually choose from a variety of music that has been pre-selected by Instagram. These are uh, brands or these are bands, sorry, and musicians that they have partnered with to have licensing rights to share their music. So no, you can't just upload any random music. You can't like, you know, link to your Spotify and put your Spotify music in there or that sort of thing. It has to be through one of the music selections. Uh, when you do that, it does add music to your post which like, let's say you were doing a boomerang or even if it was a text-based post and you want to throw some music on there to like add some variety and make it more interesting. Totally great way to make things more interactive. Uh, and on top of it, there will actually be a little pop-up on your story that will allow people to see who that musician is. So they can actually tap on that just like when you see like a C post or that sort of thing to like leave and go to something else from within the story. Um, they would tap on that and they can actually see the musician or the band. They can find out the name of the song. They can go over and check out more information about that musician, that sort of thing. So it's actually a really good integration. Um, all those people who I know in the music industry are like, well, how do we get in on this bandwagon? It would be great for musicians to have that ability to submit music um, or that sort of thing to be included in this. And I agree 100% that would be amazing at this point. I don't think it's really an option. I think this is something that Instagram has done the outreach to get the content they want. If this lasts and becomes a recurring uh, feature that people use a lot and want more of, I think we would go in that direction uh, of being able to have people submit um, and that sort of thing to grow that, that kind of music library. But for right now, it's based on what they are going to provide for you uh, in terms of that. So, uh, but that is one of the features that a lot of you don't have. That is one of the features I've gotten a lot of DMs about this week saying, I have it on one account, but not the other, or why don't I have it? Um, and that sort of thing. And I'm like, I don't know. I, I actually do have the music one. I do. I, it's one of the features I got. I'm still waiting on some other ones. Um, but again, why you don't have it, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, so questions and comments. Danny is here. Hey, girl. It is so good to see you, even though I can't really see you, but we were chatting the other day. Uh, Danny and I haven't had a chance to chat much lately. She's been busy dealing with some other things going on in her life, so good to see you. No worries that you're late. You can come back and watch the replay if you want to catch the first part. Uh, and Tanya and Ken are, <laughs> are talking about, so and then Tanya said, music. Guess who doesn't have it yet? I'm sorry. Poor Tanya, you guys. I don't know why. She like is the last person. She went like 
a year without having gifts. I don't even know if they've been out for a whole year yet. But like literally like everybody on the planet had gifts except for Tanya. She could not get that feature. And then she finally got it. She had it for like what? Like not even 24 hours and they took it away. As if she didn't have it. But she got it again finally. But it was like, it was this whole thing. Like she was like, and Tanya is like the queen of gifts. Like if anybody should be using gifts, it's Tanya. And it was like, she didn't get the feature. It was super, like just so annoying for her. And so now she's saying she doesn't have the music one either, which again, I can see of all people, like you would probably be one of the people who would actually want, really want to use it. Oh my goodness. Uh, Lori K said, I don't have that tab. I had it, but now it's gone. Thought again, uh, Lori, I actually talked a little bit about this at the top of the episode. I got a lot of DMs in the last week and a half, uh, in the last week, especially about this people that had it and they lost it or they have it on one account, but not another account. I don't know. It's so bizarre. It is caught up in some sort of glitch. I know Instagram is working on things on the back end. There are, uh, rumors of new releases coming. There's rumors of new features coming out. Um, and not even so much rumors. These are from reputable sources that know things are happening in the back end, especially on API side of things. I've heard a lot of whisperings about different things what they are exactly and when they're coming, I don't know. Uh, but I know Instagram is doing a lot in the background, which means I'll probably get off this video and a new update will roll out because they always like to mess with me after I go live and talk about things. Um, I'm not even joking. It's true. But I don't know why, but be patient. Um, give it some time. I, everything should go back to a relatively normal state pretty soon once they get these rollouts of whatever this new feature and, and things are uh, taken care of. Hopefully everyone will get that music tab back that had it. Um, or if you didn't have it, you will get it. I don't know why this is happening to be completely honest. Uh, Tron dog walking said, I seen the new shade sticker today. New to me anyways, same as the send option on the story. A new, you mean share a new share sticker? Um, Cause I'm like shade. What's what, what shade? Like, are we talking like shade or are we talking like shade? Uh, <laughs> uh, I love mine said I had it for a day on July 4th and then it went away. Um, and okay. And then, so yeah, Toronto dog walking did say uh, share um, the new share sticker. So I'm not sure. Hey, if you want to send me a screenshot after this video, send me a DM with a screenshot. I'd love to see what it is because it may be a new feature that they're rolling out. Canadians sometimes get things before other people. Sometimes you get things after other people. But you maybe have new feature that I'm not aware of. I know that I've seen some new switches and changes on some of the buttons on Instagram recently um, that other people haven't had. So it may be something that they're testing um, and kind of playing with. But if you want to grab a screenshot of what that looks like and send that over to me, I would love to see it. Uh, Watson K I said, Instagram removed the music stickers from my account, WTF Instagram. I know every, like literally everyone's like they had it and they don't have it, but some people still have it. Like it's the weirdest thing. I don't know why this is happening. Um, and then Tiny said, I have the stupid share with button. Uh, and then Ken said, hashtag Tanya is giftless. And she said, yep. And I make sure to use gifts daily. Uh, PDA Pursuit said, question, Jen, do most celebrities buy followers first then leave it organically? Is there a magic number? To be completely honest, it's not yes, it's not no. Um, it's it's different. People do different things. A lot of celebrities grow completely organically. They just come out and be like, hey, I'm on Instagram. And all of a sudden, they have like 2 million followers. Uh, it depends on their celebrity status. It depends on the buildup around them being on, on social media. It depends on what they're doing with social media. Um, a lot of them may be purchased. It depends on how they built their account and that sort of thing. Um, I never recommend buying for anybody. I would rather see you with 10,000 followers than 10 million and know that you're being genuine and, and engaged with those 10,000. Um, so there, there's no magic number. There's no status level. I've seen accounts get verified that have a couple thousand followers and accounts that have a couple million don't get verified. Um, so in that terms of it, like that number means nothing in terms of anything relevant from an influencer standpoint. Again, it's kind of irrelevant because if you have 20,000 followers and can show huge engagement and conversions on your account, then a brand is going to work with you maybe even more likely than someone with 2 million followers because they're not getting engagement or conversions or any sort of, you know, ROI out of that campaign that they're running for as an influencer campaign. But this person with 20,000 is getting huge return. So there is no magic number. Absolutely. It doesn't matter. It's entirely based upon building an organic audience. It's actually loyal to you and what you do and that you've taken the time to invest in them and create those relationships. That's always the most important thing. Uh, Sage has joined us. 
Jay Owen said, log out and log in worked for me on the account. Um, and that didn't work. So, um, and I think Jay and I were actually talking about this. I talked to so many people about this, you guys, seriously. It was like, if you do the log out, log back in, that's triggering it and people are getting it back. Some people that's not working. They're doing like the whole uninstall or reinstall and that's not even triggering it. And like I said, you have it on one account and not the other account. I don't know why. It's so bizarre, but it's just this glitch that's going on right now. Um, Watson K has said normal. What's that? Um, I'm my blooming mind said, since you're Canadian, do you get it first? Um, and then Tanya said, yes, they gave me the share with button. I don't like it. Um, Toronto dog walking said we don't have music in Canada, LOL. Um, uh, so Toronto dog walking said, Tanya, have you tested the share sticker? And she said, yeah, but it's useless for me. Just means I can share to a DM with someone, but I just DM them. Okay. Well, see, we cleared that up. That's a new feature. So now there's a share with button that allows you to send it via DM instead of just the um, the share. Uh, Toronto Dog Walking said, kind of ridiculous if it's at mentioning someone or in the sending options. I got excited to see a new sticker, but didn't see the point of it. Uh, PA Pursuit said, thanks, Jen. One more. How do you get that blue sticker from IG? You don't. You don't. Uh, they give it to you. They decide who's worthy. Uh, apparently, there are some back channel ways that if you know some people and you can spend some money, there's people at Instagram that can, you know, pull some strings and get you a verified button. And there's apparently agencies out there that will help you do this. I think it's bullshit. I think it's a complete waste of money and time. Who cares? Like I said, I've seen celebrities. I've seen major accounts with millions of followers that are not verified. Um, it's 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 good to have, but it's not the end of the world. It really doesn't make that big of a difference. People are going to know it's your real account based on the content and that you create and the way you engage. Um, being verified is not that big of a deal um, in, in most situations. And that goes across any platform. That goes across Twitter and everything else. Uh, Tani said, um, it's in the hashtag sticker spot and I keep hitting it. <laughs> That's annoying. Um, John Dog Walking said, oh, hopefully it loses importance. Uh, Cold Country Vines and Wines just joined us as well. Okay, so finally, the last update I want to talk about is one I've already talked about, but it is about IGTV. So I'm not going to talk about it in great detail here. I did do a live video when I was in Nashville. Uh, I went live and I talked about IGTV because that was around the time it had launched. I also have an IGTV post up on my profile. So after this video ends, you can head over to my profile and you can see that one about IGTV. You can read that. Again, it has all the details and everything you need to know. I still have the video that I filmed in Nashville when I went live on Instagram and I have not uploaded it to YouTube yet. So I will get it on YouTube. It's not up there yet, but I will get it up. Um, hopefully this week I'll get that uploaded for you guys. So if you want to go back and watch that one, it will be there. Um, but IGTV rolled out uh, about, well, I don't know, I guess like a month ago now, um, just under or just over a month ago, uh, to great fanfare. Um, yeah, it was on like the 20th, was it the 20th or the 25th? Anyway, what, it was like about a month ago, um, was the whole, you know, IGTV release, all that sort of stuff. So is it worth it? Um, I'm going to say yes, if you have the bandwidth to be able to deal with it. Uh, in terms of IGTV, it's something that I think is only going to continue to grow. Of course, it came out and then we had the immediate crash. The same thing happened, you know, whenever they launch a new sticker, even when they launch stories, it was like everyone tried it and then it kind of falls off and then it kind of finds a plateau and then it kind of builds consistently from there. So right now, IGTV hit that crash, right? So everyone tried it out. Everyone was creating content. Everyone put stuff out there. Everyone did stupid stuff and stupid videos and all these weird things and everyone tested and they're like, Wah, whatever. And they stopped creating content. This is very normal. This is a very normal process. But Facebook doesn't invest in things that they are not going to make successful. So they're going to put money and resources behind IGTV to get this up and rolling. This means there are updates coming to IGTV. There are features that need to be updated and things that need to happen in order to make this more user friendly and to better integrate with Instagram. Because right now it really is like having a standalone app. It really is like leaving Instagram to another environment. And it's a completely different user interface. Not a bad thing, but there needs to be some work done to make that more user friendly for Instagram users or story users who are used to more of that kind of autoplay content for a better integration between the platforms that will allow it to be more successful. I know there, there are things in the work on the back end uh, that there are changes coming to IGTV. Again, when those are coming and what those look like, I don't know. I wish I had my secret bat phone. I wish I could reassure you guys. I don't have that capability but I know that things are being worked on. 
So I don't think IGTV is a waste of time. I think if just like anything else, if you can get in there and build a foundation and build a loyal audience and build a community on your IGTV channel and create quality content, then when it does start to build that momentum, you've already got the foundation. You're there. You have the audience. You're not trying to play catch up and get people to find your content. You're not fighting against the masses. Obviously, ads will come to IGTV. Obviously, monetization will come down the road. But right now, it's not there. And when that does happen, and all of a sudden, everyone wants to influx into IGTV, you're already there. You don't have to fight like you do, just like Instagram now. For those of you who started Instagram now, don't you wish you had started two years ago and you'd have two more years of content and loyal audience and development and foundation where now it's getting harder, you know, to build the audience. It's more saturated. Same thing's going to happen with IGTV. If you have the bandwidth and the capacity to create content and build a solid channel, do it. If you don't have the capacity to do it, then make one video a month. Don't kill yourself to create this content, but do do something that you're in there so you start to build a foundation. It's really going to matter, you know, most in terms of your bandwidth and capability to create this content because it is a whole other strategy, you guys. It's totally separate. It's a whole other world in terms of that. Um, it's basically a third, fourth, or fifth, depending on what you want to look at in terms of um, Instagram content strategy. So, yes. I think it will be worth it right now. Is it that valuable? No. Engagement is low. Conversions are low. But if you use it strategically, if you can, you know, if you can build your audience and get that traction, it will be worth it in the long run. All right. So a bunch of things popped in. Um, Erica Beach has joined us as well. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, Tani said, last thing to focus on is the number of followers of, or yeah, or the blue check in her opinion. Uh, it doesn't mean anything. I agree. Um, so Charon dog walking, it said, I think I TV is last steam thoughts. I think I just answered that. <laughs> I, uh, ask Evie said, Ugh, they need to integrate it way more and better. I agree. PD pursuit said, thanks again, Jen, always on point. Ask Evie said right now it's useless. Tanya said engagement, great content consistently and authentically way more important on social agreed. Uh, Mariana Noah is here as well. Hey girl. Hey, um, Watson KS said, haven't done a damn thing with IGTV. Tanya said, I haven't started my IGTV channel yet. Was waiting for the newness to wear off. Uh, Kellyanne Ritz has joined us. So those of you tuned in late, thank you for being here. We are talking about the Instagram updates. We've talked about them all. Uh, we are wrapping up this call. So if you missed any of the call, make sure you go back and watch the replay, uh, which will be available for 24 hours. And then uh, it's also going to be live on YouTube, or streaming live on YouTube now. So you'd be able to actually come over uh, and watch the replay on YouTube as soon as we're done uh, this recording as well. Uh, Evie said it needs to be straight up integrated into the story. Then yes. Uh, Tanya said, great points, Jen, get in and build a foundational IGTV. Uh, Ken said, have a game plan for my channel for IGTV, possibly around September. Again, this is something you want to plan out. You want to think strategically, you guys, like there's Instagram, there's Instagram stories, there's Instagram direct messages, there's Instagram live. Now there's Instagram TV. Like there's like, all of these are different strategies. They all have completely different components that, like I said, it's kind of, it's not even like a third, it's really almost like a fourth or a fifth type of, you know, strategy, depending on how you use Instagram. So it is about being strategic and not just rushing into it. You need to be really thoughtful about this, uh, in terms of creating a good solid channel. Uh, and Evie said, I'll be there as soon as it's easier to integrate. Um, Tanya said, great idea. One video a month. Yes. You guys just create content once a month, one video. And we're talking less than 10 minutes. It could be a two minute video. It could be a one minute video, a four minute video. It doesn't have to be a long content. It just has to be longer than 15 seconds. That's the only requirement, but put some content there once a month just to build a repertoire of information. So that when people do find you, there is something there and they're not left wondering what you're doing or when you do want to launch it, you're not left starting from scratch, having to upload 10 videos just so you have content. Start now with one video a month just to get some content created and get used to creating content in that format because it is a different format. It's the nine by 16 portrait mode. Um, Evie said five minute knowledge bombs. Mwah, that's what I'm here for you guys. 
Uh, Simone said, Jen, what do you think about the topic of stories versus news feed? We don't have time to talk about that because this is going to end in about two minutes. I'm going to run out of camera time. Um, I've talked repeatedly about stories versus new news feed, um, completely different strategies, completely different content, uh, different interactions, different audiences. They're like having two completely separate platforms in one. So there can be cross promotion, but they should never be the same. And they have to have completely different strategies in terms of when you post, how you post, the content you create, how you interact, what you ask for, for calls to action, that sort of thing. They are completely different. Uh, Reno178 just joined us. Tamara, hello, sweetie. Good to see you as well. Uh, Evie said, maybe actually one minute knowledge bomb, short and sweet. Exactly. Um, Shannon Thomas is here as well. Watson Kiss is thinking of doing a two and a half minute take on, on things for his channel. Um, exactly. Anything you can do to create knowledge bombs, like just all these little snippets of information and record them and put them up there and, and talk about updates in your industry or any of that sort of stuff that you can create short form content. <coughs> Excuse me. Is the types of things that you can definitely do. You can do behind the scenes. You can do branding information. There's a lot of fun things you could do uh, to use that effectively. So with that being said, we are going to run out of time. I literally think I have maybe, maybe two minutes left before this, this wraps us up. So Cheval just joined in as well. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, you guys, the replay will be available here on Instagram for 24 hours. It is streaming live on YouTube right now. So give it a minute or two to upload, but you can watch the replay over on YouTube as well, where you can see much more of my new backdrop because on my little nine by 16, if you want to see my face, you'll lose all the backdrop. But over on YouTube, you can see all of it because it's landscape and it's all pretty. And it's my new grown-up office. Isn't it pretty? All right, you guys. I love you. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for being here as always. I love having you here. We'll be back in two weeks. Don't know the topic yet, so stay tuned. I will decide as we get closer to that uh, and let you guys know. And uh, as mentioned, if you do want to join the Facebook group, go look on Facebook for Jen's Trends in Social Media. And we talk about all these updates as they happen in that group. We post updates. We talk about them. We test things. We do it all over there in that Facebook group. So if you're not there, head over there and join the group. Thank you all. It was great to see you. I will see you again in two weeks. Bye, everybody. All right, YouTubers, thank you so much as always for tuning in. I do appreciate you being here. Uh, I hope that the intro wasn't too long and you're able to skip through a lot of that, uh, the tech stuff and everything else. So yes, thank you for watching and you can look for other videos here on my YouTube channel for lots of other information about Instagram, social media, as well as see replays of presentations that I have done that I've uploaded those videos here on Insta or on YouTube as well. So thank you so much and we will see you in the next video.